What's up, YouTube? What's up, man? Uh, I'm hitting y'all here again. I would like to appreciate. I would like to appreciate, first and foremost, everybody who watched my last video. Uh, I'm almost to a thousand views, man. I, I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all so much. It, it, it's a blessing and it's, it's a privilege. It's an honor. It's all that to know that y'all watched that video and a lot of y'all agree with me. A lot of y'all don't agree so much. A lot of y'all you know, got your own opinions and stuff, but it's a good post. It's a good post, it's a good stream, it's a good video, and I, I just appreciate everybody, and I do mean everybody who watched it. So, you know, if you took time out of your busy day, took time out of your busy schedule to watch that video, I appreciate it, I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say thank you enough. But all y'all who subscribe to my channel, thank y'all so very much. Now I have a reason to keep doing this and keep making videos. You know, at first I didn't have so many subscribers and stuff because, you know, you first start to say out you don't get that much, but, you know, and now I got a reason to keep trying to, you know, put stuff on here. But like I said, I'm on Twitch. I'm going to start posting my Twitch videos on YouTube. Uh, you can catch me on Twitch. I'm going to start playing uh, DVD on Twitch. Uh, so you can catch me on there. If y'all have Mixer, I am on Mixer. Uh, Bad3111. Uh... On Twitch, it's gonna be uh, Soldier XXC. That's S O U L J A X X C. So, uh, and I do believe I said that on one of my other videos, so I'm just letting y'all know because I'll be on there so y'all can hear me talk and everything on there as well because I'll be talking during my stream. So, but uh, all I want to hit on today, I want to get that out the way first. I am driving home, so I'm kind of driving, talking. If I'm not looking at you, it's because I'm looking at the road. But I wanted to get to South before I got home because I might be, you know, sleepy and tired when I get home. I'm, I'm going to hit the sack, hit the bed, and take me a nap or something. So I wanted to go ahead and get this out. But, uh, here recently, uh, another clue, another piece of evidence on, you know, why, why I think it's going to be Candyman. Uh, I look at King's videos. I look at Polyester's videos. One guy on my last post said, you know, here comes another Polyester or whatever they say. You guy girl I don't know who said it but it, it was kind of funny <laughs> polyester kind of the same way but but he goes a little far 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 deep on the deep end with stuff but he could be right you never know any of us could be right but uh I was watching uh, I think it was polyester's video nose King it was King's video uh, earlier today and uh, I didn't notice but uh Tony Todd the guy that plays Candyman, and I told y'all this he did some voiceovers he tweeted that he did some voiceovers for something. Didn't say what they were. Now y'all know with me and my other clues and my other video, you know where I'm gonna aim towards with this. So, I mean, that's kind of obvious. And you'd probably say, why would they be so obvious and have him tweet that? Why would, uh, you know, damn by daylight, put it out there like that and, and, and just say it's him? Excuse me, smoking a cigarette. You know, a lot of y'all saying, you know, why would they be that obvious? Why would they do that? I don't know. But they, you never know what they got, they got going. But why would he tweet that? And what else would he be doing a voiceover for? He's already done the movie. He may have his own game, but I ain't heard of no Candyman game. I haven't heard of nothing else with him that's going to be with him in it. He could have been doing voiceovers for, you know, phone notifications or something like that. That's the only that's the only other thing I see him doing a voiceover for. It's, it's like a phone notification or something like that. Other than that, dead by daylight. And he put it out there. Now like I said, that don't necessarily mean it could be this chapter. I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff stuff pointing to this chapter. And I got covered that in my last video. It's a lot of stuff pointing at this chapter. But it, it may not be. It may just mean we're getting them soon. And, and, and it may not be now, but later. But you never know, y'all. I'm thinking it'll be this chapter. A lot of people are saying uh, it couldn't be this chapter because why would they be doing voiceovers this late and they're about to drop it next week? That's a simple answer, y'all, to a very simple question. I don't know if y'all play 2K, but I play a lot of that too, NBA 2K. Uh, but if y'all don't notice, some of the dunk change in some of the dunk packages. How does that happen? Because they update it. It's very easy to update a game. It's very easy to throw something in a game and throw a quick update on it. It's one, two, three. It's easy, y'all. 
I play 2K a lot, and I've noticed a lot of those dunks and a lot of packages, they change according to dunks that are newer. Some of the dunks these guys just did not too long ago, and then the next update you see those dunks in there. You play 2K, pay attention. It's that easy to do an update. It's that easy to call these guys in, put the little suit on, have them do the dunk, and leave. It's that easy, y'all. It's that easy. They could do it two days before the update. So, you know, it's, it's not hard to call somebody in to, to get something done and then just throw it on the update and call it call it done. The Ebba Daylight's probably done that a lot. They've probably done it more than we even know. They've probably thrown stuff in last minute right before update day. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's how you do it, man. It's how you develop the game. It's, it's how they do their job. I don't know how they do their job. I'm just saying it's not hard. It's not hard to do that stuff. It don't matter how late you do it or, no, or whatnot. As long as it's in there, when the chapter drops, when the update comes, as long as it's there, that's all that matters. It don't matter when they call the person in. It don't matter when the person did this or that. So, you know, that question, like I said, is a simple answer to a simple question. It's not a stupid question. It's not a dumb question. It's just a question. And like I said, it's a simple answer to the question. So, uh, as far as technology and stuff like that goes. But that right there is pretty much a big clue. That's a big giveaway to me. Like I said before, I could be wrong. He still could not be in the game. We don't know. But that the fact he's doing voiceovers and, we, and it may be another killer that actually says something would be nice. So, you know, all I know in the movie is one of his main lines is, be my victim. He says that mainly in the old one and in the new one. And Tony Todd's got this, this eerie, scraggly, deep voice. I can't mimic it. But I know that the line is, be my victim. He says that a lot. So, you know, it'd be neat to have that in Dead by Daylight and actually hear that. I think that'd be cool when, you know, you select him and he, and he says that in that voice that he has. So, <laughs> I think that'd be cool, man. I, I really do. The only one I, I really hear talking in the game right now is Ash. And it'd be great to have another character outside Ash, a killer at that, saying something. So... You know, uh, normally you pick a killer or whatever, you hear their music. I'm talking about the licensed ones. You hear their music or whatever, and it's just not the same. Freddy laughs, but that's about it. But it'd be good to actually hear the killer say something, you know, a, a, a line from a movie and stuff like that. So, uh, but like I said, I, I really do think it's still going to be him. Like I said, that's a big another clue leading to it. Uh, Y'all's thoughts, man. Y'all's thoughts. Y'all give me thoughts on the other one, man. I'm loving how we're keeping this going, man. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. I'm loving I'm loving all the views. I'm loving all that, man. I'm getting some kind of attention out of this. And then I bless y'all. Y'all bless me. Thank you. Once again. Uh, also, I want to touch a little bit on uh, a strategy for killers to use for survivors. Uh, because survivors can get kind of annoying. We all know Dead by Daylight community is very, very, very toxic. It's very, very, very toxic. Y'all know this, I know that. The survivors can get to the point where they just getting on your last ever-loving nerve with the perks that they put on some of these survivors. You can have three or four survivors with decisive strike and borrow time on at the same time. Oh, and dead hard. And all of them will have all those perks. It makes it nearly impossible to get everybody. Like I said on one of my videos, the best way y'all these days to handle survivors they have been putting Ebony Mori's in the blood web for killers a lot more often than they used to. They're doing that for a reason. They're trying to combat survivors picking these perk loadouts. Because really, killers are at... Killers can't come back with anything for some of these perk loadouts that these survivors are using. There's really nothing a killer can do, no matter what killer you use. So the best way I think they try to nullify that is to put Ebony Mori's in the blood web more often. I've noticed that when I was playing, and I just been stacking them up, stacking them up, stacking them up. If you see one in there, grab it. I don't care what else is in the blood web. Make sure you grab that Ebony Mori before you grab anything else. Stack those up. Don't If you want to use them right away, go ahead. But try not to use them just all right away. Just try to stack them up as much as you can with every killer, whichever killer you use the most, whatnot, whatever it is that you're doing. Stack those up and take one into almost every game you can. Especially if you're playing the higher ranks. For some reason, the rank system is off, and when you hit like rank 12 on Xbox, 
you start playing rank eights and ones and fives, and it, it's crazy. It's, you're not supposed to be playing those people at level 12. But that's how they got it. My rank got set back, and I'm like at 13 right now because I stopped at 12 last season or whatever. I'm, I'm a good player. It's just I try not to rank down too fast because that stuff, it, it gets old trying to chase down some of these people, man. I just try to keep it in the middle there, you know, 12, 10, somewhere, somewhere in that area. But every time they reset it, my stuff gets set back, and then I got to go back down again. So, but right now, I'm actually matched with the people I'm supposed to be matched with. I'm a 13, and they're matching me with 13s, 14s, 15. It's, it's, I even get 18, 20 sometimes, which is kind of mismatched, but then it's, it's right. But, you know, it's got to be right there once i hit 12 again it's going to be right back to eights and fives and all that and then a lot of survival friends teams you get those a lot from 12 on down as well so the best thing to do for survival friends and the best thing to do for those groups that use those huge perk loadouts that just get on your last nerve ebony mori ebony mori i can't stress that enough take that into almost every match you can especially if you're playing the high ranked players and i'm telling you there ain't nothing they can do about that they can't resist coming to save each other for one they can't resist it they can't resist it. So as soon as they get that person off hook, you go and get rid of that person. Just go do it. Tunnel them. Whatever it takes for you to get rid of that person that you just hooked, that you have to get that Ebony Mori on, do it. Get rid of those people as fast as possible. That's the best way to combat it. When you get out of that game and you see the perk load out and you see that they had, everybody had decisive strike, everybody had borrow time, everybody had dead hard, then you're gonna be like, oh, I see now. I'm glad I took that in because that's what happened to me. When I started taking those Ebony Mori's in, I started seeing the perk load outs and I was like, man, this team would have effed me up had I not brought my Ebony Mori in. So, there you go. That's a good strategy for you. I wanna give that little knowledge out to y'all, give y'all that little tip. A lot of y'all probably already knew that. But, you know, it's a lot of new killers in this game that may watch my video and, and be stuck and then want to stop playing. Don't stop playing. Don't ever stop playing. It's always a strategy to something in this game. And Ebony Moore's are the solution to those survivor friends and those survivors bringing all those hardcore perks into the game. Just Ebony Mori. Ebony Mori, the heck out of everybody. I noticed that since I started using it, a lot of people stopped equipping Decisive Strike. A lot of people stopped equipping uh, dead hard. They still kind of get borrowed time sometimes. But I noticed since I was using Ebony Mori, they definitely stopped bringing decisive strikes as much as they used to. So I'm guessing the word's getting down and the killers are starting to get together and they're starting to know that that's what you do. And that they're taking it to these survivors and they're starting to say, hey, decisive strike's not doing me good anymore if they're going to bring Ebony Mori in. So, you know, but yeah, to you survivors, I don't really know what tips to give y'all. Y'all know strategies. You know, the argument's going back and forth. This is a killer or survivor-based game. It is a survivor-based game when it's survival friends. I'm going to say that. It is a survivor-based game when it's survival friends. Now, when it's just random game with random people, I think it's more killer-based because the survivors can't communicate as much. So, you know, that's my answer to it. A lot of people will say it's survivor-based, period, and they'll leave it at that which it is, but I think it's only survivor based when it's a survival friends round. I think when it's just random and they're not able to communicate as much and this person don't know what's going on with this person and they kind of got to go off what they see, I think it's more killer based then. Then you're more, the killer has more advantage. So, but uh, like I said, survivors though, they mostly have advantages, especially survivor friends. They're definitely, it's definitely survivor based at that point. And you gotta bring Ebony Mori. Got to. Got to. Where you're only gonna get like a 1 or 2K. So, uh, that's my tip for today. That's my tip for Dead by Daylight. Sorry, y'all. I hit a bump so I was moving around and stuff. <laughs> gotta kill a bump back there. But uh, I'm almost home. I just wanted to put that out to y'all, man. And uh, get that news out. But what I'm going to do is uh, hit y'all up some other time, man. I appreciate y'all for watching my other video. I hope y'all watch this video. I will appreciate you even more. I will love y'all even more. Bless y'all for doing all that y'all have done so far. Just keep up to date. Like I said, I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. I gave y'all the uh, tag for that. Once again, Twitch is SoldierXXC. That's going to be S-O-U-L-J-A-X-X-C. 
Don't ask where I got the name. I had it since I was in the army a long time ago. And I don't know, I just, it was just something I made up. <laughs> and then on Mixer, it's a bad 3111. Bad 3111. I think it's just BAD 3111. If it doesn't come up that way, try BADD 3111. I'm pretty sure it's the first one. But like I said, first one don't work, put it in the second one, and that one should work. But uh, like I said, man, I'm going to start streaming on Twitch mostly. I will be on Mixer, but I'm going to stream on Twitch mostly. So y'all come check me out playing Dead by Daylight. Uh, I don't know if I'll be on today per se. I'm going to try to get on today. If not today, I will definitely be on tomorrow. Y'all come check me out on there, man. Uh, and, and like I said, just peace out, man. Remember what I said about this clue today on Candyman? And remember what I told y'all killers to bring into your rounds, man. That's just a tip from me to you. Y'all stay up, stay blessed. Peace out.